So today I thought it would be fun to do kind of a little get ready with me um, video showing you how I do my daily makeup, which uh, is this that I've got going on right now. It's pretty much pin up makeup um, with a little bit of a highlight. And uh, yeah, this is what I do every day, so it doesn't take me very long. And hopefully you guys will be interested in the products that I use and all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna get started and run straight into this. Let's go. Okay guys, so I have cleansed and moisturized. This is my naked face. And I'm going to get started with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I absolutely adore this primer. It does a great job. And just starting from the middle of my face, I just kind of spread it around. I've been having some skin issues recently because I um, tried to uh, go back to the Kat Von D foundation, um, the Locket foundation, and for some reason my skin just hates that stuff. And literally, I think I wore it for two days and um, I just broke out terribly. So I'm back to my old trusty foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in color 30. And this is a great full coverage foundation. It goes on really nice and evenly. So I'm just gonna pull it on with my fingers. I feel like I've tried so many different ways of uh, applying foundation, but I'm just lazy I guess and uh, I like using my hands and that's kind of how I learned in school too uh, when I did makeup courses especially with the stage makeup because it's so thick and um, the heat from your hands really helps get that stuff on and I just make sure to take it kind of down over my jaw just so you don't get any kind of foundation lines I have a concealer, I use the Naked Skin um, by Urban Decay. The colour is fair, fair to neutral because I'm pretty pale. My finger and just dab it into my eyes. And I'm going to put some right here too because I've got a little issue over here. And then just around my nose. So again, I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of that into my skin. Okay, so for my powder, I'm going to use this um, Too Faced Cocoa Powder. I don't know if you guys are, are familiar with their cocoa range, but the whole collection is amazing. And it's infused with um, uh, cocoa and it has a matte rose petal finish. It's just like a beautiful powder, over. especially um, over that concealer that I just added just to set it. Okay, once I'm done with the powder, I'm going to put some primer on my eyes. So for that I'm going to use Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer and again just like a tiny little smudge, this stuff goes really far and it feels so smooth and lovely. So once that's on I like to leave it for a hot minute just to set itself in and this is usually where I will start my eyebrows. So for the brows um, I use the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade which is in dark brown. This stuff is great, I use it on everybody. Um, it's good because you can get a really kind of precise, um, sharp eyebrow, which is the style that I like. And it doesn't come off, which is great, because I used to use pencil eyebrows. As you can see, my eyebrows are really light because I'm blonde. So when I used to use pencil eyebrow, um, sorry, eyebrow pencils, um, I'd find that around halfway through the day, I'd be like missing the tail of my eyebrow because I'd have like wiped my hair out of the way. And that's kind of uh, not a cute look. And then this is the Anastasia um, brow brush, which has this little spoolie on the end. So I'll just use that just to brush my eyebrows up a little bit to get that shape. And so to start my eyebrows, um, I just map out the shape underneath first, just doing kind of little sweepy actions. And then I'll just extend that tail out a bit because my eyebrows end kind of early. Do the same on the top. And then fill in the middle. At the beginning of the brow, just so I don't have like a sharp line, I used a little spoolie guy just to blend it out a little bit, just to make it up. A little softer at the beginning of the brow. Next up, I'm gonna do the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette which again is one of my absolute favorites especially if you want um, more of a neutral eye the whole thing has all kinds of nice browns and 
creams and golds. It's really pretty. So um, I'm gonna grab this. Um, is this a Sephora Pro Blending Brush? And it's large number 27. This is nice and poofy. And then I'm just gonna use this really nice light brown on the left side of the palette. And I'm gonna get plenty of that on my brush. And then I'm gonna take the corner right in the corner of my eye and just bring it over into the crease. And I like to do kind of little circular motions and that helps blend out the colour. Um, I'm going to go in with this um, slightly darker colour right here. And then I'm going to take that into the crease too but I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure so it's not as spread out. Take the super dark one, um, this dark brown up in the corner. I'm sorry, I can't tell you the names of these. It's one of the annoying things about this palette is I just came with like a plastic cover that had all the names of the shadows on, and of course that got lost really fast. So I have no idea what any of these are called. So Too Faced, next time you do one of these palettes, you need to have it actually on the shadow boxes. So idiots let me know what they're doing. So once I've got this darker brown, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm gonna bring it right into the corner do little circular motions and then I'm also going to take this a little bit underneath about halfway along my lower lid now I'm going to tackle my actual eyelid so with one of these flat brushes I'm just going to grab some of this um, kind of cream off white colour and take that just over my eyelids blend that in to all the browns. I'm also going to add some of this just to the brow bone too, just to help blend that brown out. It's in the top. I think I'm going to use this one. So this is actually an illuminator, so it's like a baked highlighter and it's from Sephora and I was looking at the um, Anastasia highlighter um, set and uh, it was kind of expensive so I figured I would try um, some of the Sephora brand because I've actually been really impressed by the Sephora brand stuff in the past. So um, even though this is an illuminator, I'm actually going to use it on my eyelids uh, just to make that um, inner lid really pop. So I'm just going to do it right over. Off, I'm gonna use a, use this pro blend brush again and just take that all the way across just to burn those colors back into each other so it's nice and seamless. Next I'm gonna tackle the eyeliner. So uh, for myself I always use liquid eyeliner and I was using the, um, this awesome Kat Von D liquid liner for years and um, it got discontinued which broke my heart. So right now I'm currently kind of on the hunt for a new liquid liner so if you guys have any recommendations of a liner that's similar to um, the, the old autograph liner from Kat Von D. Um, the reason I like it, this one's all dried out and gross. The reason I like it is because it has like a tiny little thin brush, which is more like a makeup brush and less like a, you know, like a piece of foam or some of them are kind of like Sharpies. I just can't get on with those. The thing that I found that's similar is the e.l.f. liquid liner and um, it's very similar in packaging. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's quite um, sheer when it goes on so you have to layer it quite a bit just to get that really black liner look. I'm just going to take it first in the right of the eyelashes in the middle and I always like to hitch it there first because I have the most product on my brush so if I kind of go in the corner it might splat out. And then I just kind of build on it and get it as thick as I want it to. As you can see it's not it's not that black but once it's dry I'll go over it a second time and then for my wing I always take um, take it from the very corner um, and follow the shape of my bottom lid and um, that way you'll always get you know that nice kind of wing that starts to go up rather than going across because you don't want droopy eyes and I always aim for the end of my eyebrow as my point 
then I'll, work, I'll go a little bit down, about halfway down that line, and take it across to meet it with the rest of the line. Fill that bad boy in. And now that's dry, I'm going to just go over for a second time. On my eyelashes real quick because they're dead straight. Seeing the uh, the Vegas Nay lashes by Allure, which are my new favourites, and you can actually get them from um, from Target. And then just stick this guy on. Uh, they're already like really bent. They've got a really nice kind of eye shape to them already. So these ones tend to go on. How easy that was. Um, hey, guess what? I have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, which again smells absolutely delicious. And this one's really cute because it comes with its own little contour brush, which I really love. So it's good for um, when you're traveling and you don't have room for a bunch of br uh, for brushes, you've got that one in there for you. So this one has like four colors. Um, it has like a dark cocoa, a pop of light which is like your illuminator, it has a bit of sparkle in it, and then the medium cocoa and the light cocoa. So I'm going to use the medium. It just takes that underneath my uh, cheekbones. I'm not going to bother doing anything to my nose because uh, this is daytime and I don't need to look like a drag queen just yet. I'm just going to use a little bit of the light cocoa, which is the white one, just um, on the top and bottom of that. And then for my blush, this is the Hourglass uh, Luminous Flush in Ambient, which is another gorgeous kind of goldy pink blush. I'm just going to take that just kind of in between those two colours. And this colour is one of my favourites. I use it on so many clients because it just seems to go over everybody's skin tone. Um, I'm going to use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, which is another one which I've, been, I've tried so many mascaras, but this one is my all-time favourite because the, um, the brush on it's really small and pointed, so I feel like I can really get in there and get under the lashes. I'm just going to use this to blend in my lashes with the falsies. I've always done my mascara after I put on my lashes. I think I've talked about this before. Everybody has different ways of doing things, but I find that this just blends it in nicely. Okay, so finally, um, it's my lips that need finishing. So for my lips, I'm going to do a nice classic red. This is the Jeffree Star. Um, liquid or lipstick in red rum which is my absolute favorite red right now I can't not get enough of it so this one is kind of running out I love it that much so I'll apply that directly So yeah, this is it. This is it. This is my finished daily makeup look. Um, to some people, it might be a lot of makeup, but to me, this is pretty average. Um, I love makeup. I love playing with it, and I feel like it's one of the best mediums to express my love of art personally. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, let me know um, below any other products that you think I should try out, and uh, if this video helped you in any way. I really appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.